Welcome to my kitchen, or at least one side of my kitchen, I guess. Cause okay, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of something different because I always talk about beauty and makeup and fashion and all that stuff, but I love food. Like I know humans need food to survive and stuff, but like my whole family is like foodie fanatics. And one of my favorite things in the summertime is to make a certain type of drink that I like to drink and just refresh myself and um, I don't really like juice but I really love tea so I love iced tea and the powder kind that you can like buy like nest tea or whatever is so bad for you and like I don't even want to even yeah it's got so much sugar so I'm going to show you guys an easy easy way to make your own tea and sorry that's my cat sneezing um, it's allergy season all you need is things that you already have in your house pretty much so I'm going to show you guys um, what you're going to need to make homemade iced tea. So first you want to pick any type of tea that you have. You can use loose leaf tea, but then you'll have to just like strain it. Or you can use a tea bag. Um, I'm using the Tega Certified Organic Rooibos Passion Fruit Premium Herbal Tea. Looks like this. It's purple. And I'm going to be using three tea bags of this. And um, you can use however strong you want it. Remember, if you make it too strong, you can always water it down. Smell your tea. Make sure you like the smell of it. That's good. Next, you're going to want um, two tablespoons of sugar. I'm using white sugar. Um, it's organic, so it's brownish color. Um, and you can use more if you want. I just don't really like mine that sweet. You need um, boiling water. So I've got a kettle here. Okay, you're going to need a um, teapot like this any old teapot that you have and you're going to want a pitcher that looks like this preferably clear because then you can like see the colors and stuff Pika! <laughs> she's helping out okay so you have your teapot and what you're going to want to do is take your teapot and pour it put in your three tea bags or however many you use and boil your water so I'm going to take my kettle of boiling water be careful if you're like you're younger or like your parents don't want you handling hot water then get someone older than you to do it because I'm actually scared of boiling water so yeah just pour that in until you fill up the entire teapot once your teapot is full put the lid on the teapot and you're gonna let this steep and steeping just lets the tea and all the flavors kind of meddle into the water and make it really super strong and since this is um, iced tea you want the tea flavor to be really um, obvious so we're gonna let this steep for 10 to 15 minutes so we've had our tea steeping for 15 so now it's time to get ready to do the actual iced tea process so you want to get some ice cubes like this that I had the ice tray and these were in the freezer um, if you have like um, the thing that the, on the fridge that like puts out ice cubes too that's nice as well but I'm gonna start putting all the ice cubes into this tray so that it'll make it easier for me so you just wanna pop your ice cubes drop them in like that strong muscles. I'm going to move the ice cubes into the jar. When you add the tea, it, the ice cubes are going to melt a lot, so just be aware of that. So I'm just going to add my tea now. And make sure that when you add the tea, you're adding it right on top of the ice cubes and not on to the glass. You're trying to like really slowly because you don't want the glass to break because it could happen. So you want to make sure that you're holding the side of the thing to see the temperature of the tea as you add it. And I'm just pouring my tea into my container. And then we're going to add our sugar. So just add a little bit at a time. And it's going to melt really fast because of the heat that the tea still has. You're going to want to take like a wooden spoon or something and just stir it. Um, I probably added around a tablespoon now, and I'm going to test it, like taste it to see if I like the flavor of it, because that's really important. So I'm just going to finish off with the rest of the sugar in there, and stir it all up. And you want that sugar to disintegrate, so that's what it tastes like 
without anything else. This is the basic iced tea. But now, what I'm going to do just to add a little bit more of a fun. Whoops, sorry, that's Emily being cutsy again. I'm going to take a little bit of vanilla syrup, just looks like this. Um, we actually make our own vanilla syrup, but like you can just buy it, or you can just use simple syrup, which is just water and sugar, or you can just keep adding sugar if you like. But I'm just going to add like a teeny weeny little bit of this because this is going to taste so good. And Calo, don't play with that. Please. Just add a little bit, probably I would say like a teaspoon that much, and just put it in. Here. Stir it up. You can add lemon juice, you could add lime juice, you could add any sort of citrus flavor to it if you wanted to bring out the citrus flavors of your tea. Or you could add some bubbly water. You might want to put your iced tea in the fridge for a little while just to make it even colder and nice and refreshing. And I also like to um, put my glasses in the freezer and then take them out in like 20 minutes and they'll have a nice frosted. Um, look to them and then they'll be nice and cold so when you drink out of them it's like nice and really just refreshing so cheers hope you guys enjoy and I'll see y'all later bye